Sir, do me a favor and reschedule the Bryant deposition. Jim's gonna submit the brief for the Meyer versus Graham case. Yes. No. I fully intend to come in tomorrow. This matter of Detroit's easy enough. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> Sit up. Taurus. I don't have time to waste, and I won't ask you again. Sit up. So is that what I am? A waste of time. Look, if your victor is ticking, you just need to bounce back to Chicago. What would you know about a Victor Knox dime piece? Let me guess. One of your favorite rappers rocks one. My favorite rappers are either dead or old school. And I have several of those time pieces because I like watches. Well, do yourself a favor and don't wear one to court. I'll have a great time explaining why a 16 year old owns a $500 watch. Yours might have cost $500. I like the ad neckline. Two racks each. And by the way, I'm, I'm 17. I don't care how many you own. The difference, I earned mine. Let's move on. It says you were caught joyriding a 2016 Challenger. Is that true? Not completely. It was the SRT Hellcat model. Doesn't matter. The point is, the vehicle was stolen and you were caught inside. Idiot. I'm not an idiot. Ignoramus, Creedon, or imbecile. I'm the top percent out in the state of Michigan. Five percent of my class. Do you know what my name means? Does it matter? Not to you, but to me, I'm just curious. It's Latin. It means bull-like, which we can both agree is ironically apropos. Correction. Its origin is African. My bad. Anyway, I study my name. One of my characteristics is I do too much at once. Nothing wrong with being an overachiever. I have a hard time expressing my feelings. Most men do. My way of analyzing life is pretty good. I'm pretty reasonable. All right, Einstein. Why would any reasonable person get into a $70,000 car with his broke-ass friends who can't even afford a $200 Schwinn? Ronnie forgot to check the OnStar. Otherwise, we would have been out of there before the car was even missed. We would have been done for. But I would have been 10,000 to the good. No use. What are you saying, Taurus? Come on, Matlock, put it together. Are you saying you knew the car was stolen? You're an employee of a chop shop. No. I'm the employer. I set it up um, a couple years ago. Last year I made a little over 200000 Are you serious right now? I'm dead ass serious. Where do you store that kind of cash? Does your mother know? This is not my Parker in the game. As far as storage, I have pretty large piggy banks. And I have a couple Swiss accounts. Well, damn! Why am I paying child support? Between her nurse's salary and your extracurricular activities, my money would better serve my wife and kids. And that's why you're coming out of pocket. So that wifey and the twins won't find out about the bastards you've abandoned. Taurus, I don't know what your mother told you about us, but you are the result of a prom night full of liquor and poor decisions. Blame it on the alcohol. Look, Winston, you don't owe me any explanations. I never said I did. I don't know what I can offer you. Hell, you're almost an adult. Besides this bonehead move, you seem to have figured out life all on your own. 200K, jeez, that's more than my house is worth. 
You need a loan? I can give you a pretty generous offer with a sweet interest rate. Smart ass. Look, if it eases your conscience, you can tell my mother I didn't cooperate and be on your way. Look, I'm good. Look, I don't want you to throw away a bright future and some get back crap. You're a good kid. Emma, a good kid. What differentiates me from Trayvon Martin? If Willie Lynch's theory is, is good, I'm just another statistic heading for a self-fulfilling prophecy. Oh man, spare me the 400 years of oppression, 40 acres and a pimped out charges reparations bullshit. You snatching up rides has nothing to do with Emmett Till, Malcolm X, Trayvon Martin, or Flando Castillo. You don't know me, nor do you know less about the black experience. You're right. I'm about as acquainted with you as I am my neighbor's 75-year-old nuts. But I don't have to be a urologist to know that gravity is bringing his wrinkled oysters downward, just as your arrogance is going to bring you down. You have everyone else fooled, but I know that you do what you do for one simple reason. I'm good at it. Six figures in one year. You're better than good. You're at the top of your game. And I don't have to greet you with good mornings and pancakes to know what's behind those eyes. I've seen it in my own reflection. I just want to know who I'm meant to be. I can't say that I have the answer. But you'll be defined by the choices you make and the risk you take. Every decision won't be easy. The necessity of life will require action. You didn't have to take to leave my mother, did you? Once she's your bed, when the next, she's some faint memory. What the fuck, man? I can say it ten ways twisted into a New York pretzel. Yes, I left. Choices and decision. Quick history lesson, Taurus. You're of Irish and Old English descent. None of my direct ancestors owned slave. Most of my ancestors have been farmers and blue collar men. And all that's honorable, but it's not the legacy I wanted to grind my teeth on. So yes, I saw a way out and I took it. Like Tupac in his first legit record deal. Like Muhammad Ali in his first big fight. Like Obama. And I make no apologies because I wanted more than planting crops and shoveling shit. Collateral damages and acceptable losses. So is that what I've been reduced down to, huh? Collateral damages? No. You're not a ghetto statistic either. You're just a kid trying to find his way like everyone else. Hell, maybe you can even help me find mine. That's mighty white of you, Dad. But if you're coming in here on some 911 tip, just to get me out of trouble, you can hang that up. Because that will not bring back the years you've abandoned me. I'm not some figment of your imagination. You're right. Mature men handle the responsibilities. You deserve better. Deserve. Present tense. It's still time. Real talk. I'm still learning to define my manhood. Maybe we can learn together. Yeah, maybe. Hold on a minute, Taurus. Hey, sir? No. Everything's fine. Reschedule my appointments for tomorrow. The situation in Detroit? It's gonna take some extra time. Yes.